Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Mad Fusion video. I am AK. If you had a first time here. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So you don't miss anything. Let's begin. In this video, I'm gonna fix some of the problems related to the NEPC as well as the HP laptops. There are some f steps you need to follow. First of all, right. So and there are some of the problems which are appearing nowadays with the HP that the blue screen like this. Uh, this type of blue screen may might be appearing in your desktop, and like uh, this type of recovery option is appearing like uh, the file error and this error box is appearing and some of the blue screen and sometime it's showing that uh, your system is running but uh, their uh, display is missing their system is not voting on right so uh, and the another program will be regarding to the AMD AMD uh, graphic card is not able to install and it's not working in HP system even though uh, you are installing it the, then it's showing the blue screen right so uh, for this uh, I'm gonna start with this uh, blue screen uh, first and uh, you uh, I, I strongly recommend you go to control panel and go to programs and install programs and see oh, right here uh, definitely you will find that uh, uh, you see uh, all the programs be carefully and uninstall all the unnecessary programs that's uh, not usable for you first I'll be recommend you to do this uh, like uh, some of the programs will be not useful and just in uninstall them and uh, for, uh, for the other error like uh, accelerometer error so you need to install the HP drive guard okay which I have showed you in earlier video then what you will do uh, uh, you go to the device manager uh, device manager uh, yeah yeah you need to go to this device manager in your PC and uh, and then you have to select the uh, driver okay so display adapter you need to select okay uh, then you need to uh, uninstall first first you need to uninstall your graphic card from here you need to just uninstall your AMD or whatever you are using I'm using the Nvidia one so you just need to uninstall that okay as well as I'll uh, prefer you to uninstall the Intel graphic card also okay so once it's done then uh, restart your computer okay and uh, also uninstall these unnecessary applications and then if you are a uh, uh, good in technical like uh, hardware so then after uh, restarting your system I'll strongly recommend you that uh, first first you need to install the uh, uh, add PSA application which is this okay you need to install this application I'll be giving you the link in description so uh, you do not need to worry about this you just go through the link and install this in your system and then uh, then what you will do uh, then uh, then you need to install these drivers from here like AMD graphic cards driver you need to install that from the HPSA which will be available from right for you from uh, HP server right so you will get that update right here okay so and sometimes you will show that HP 3D uh, drive guard software for HP right so you now need to install this because if, if, uh, if you will be installing the, this then you the error box will be appearing in your system that will be the HP drive guard okay so once you have installed your uh, drivers from here if some of the drivers is still missing so then you need to do one more thing uh, just you uh, go to the settings okay and go to the updates and update your system once you will update your system so all the necessary uh, drivers will be automatically installed in your system alright so once you have done this then um, 
the final things is uh, maybe you will not going to face this uh, these issue uh, but uh, if uh, if you are facing this issue again after doing all these things so uh, for this i will strongly recommend you how you will fix this uh, things uh, you just um, mm, uh, uh, if you are using the polymer battery right your battery is not removable and you need to uh, open your laptop for uh, removing battery so you just uh, drain your battery completely drain your battery okay after draining just uh, keep pressing the power button for a long time and uh, you just need to uh, keep pressing the power button right and uh, keep press the power button until the uh, light will be not showing for you uh, the power light okay so when the ba- once the battery is completely drained right so uh, press the power key for uh, uh, at least 20 seconds okay keep pressing keep holding that okay uh, once is all the processor is done then plug your uh, pc and laptop in um, power cord and restart it and your problem will be solved okay so that's it guys you need to just follow the simplest steps and anybody can do this or if if you, this program is still not uh, this solution is still not working for you so please do remove your battery and press again press the uh, power key for uh, 20 to 30 seconds and then plug your battery and restart your system your problem will be definitely definitely solved guys and thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope this video will work for